Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is November 3rd, and that means day 307 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we printed out this very cool Labyrinth gift box. This is a model I've had my eye on since we actually got the printer, and I've always wanted to print it, but I thought there would be a lot of problems with it because of all the different grooves for the actual Labyrinth part of the gift box. But on today's episode, we printed it, and it turned out awesome, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 307 of the 3DP 365 project. On today's episode, it's the Labyrinth gift box, and this is one of the coolest models that's ever been posted on Thingiverse. And this guy's been printed over 500 times, and I'm sure a lot more than that, people just haven't posted pictures. And I've had my eye on this model since I, ever got, since I first got my first 3D printer, and I really wanted to print it, but this looked kind of scary to me at the time. But now that I've got a little bit of skill behind me and a lot of time on the printer, and of course my GMAX 1.5 XT Plus prints out perfectly now, I knew it was time to print the Labyrinth gift box. And I did, and it turned out awesome. I am super happy with the results. This is a very, very clean print. Both parts turned out perfectly. There are no problems, there are no blobs, there are no globs, there are no layer skips. There's no sign of under or over extrusion whatsoever. I did use a brim to make sure these parts stayed flat. They're only two hour prints per part, depending on your print speed and your layer height. And we use some of that AMZ 3D filament. I used Lake Blue for the maze part and their standard black for the top. And our prints, like I said, they turned out perfect. And I downloaded this model from Thingiverse and I'll put the link down in the description if you haven't already printed this one yourself. And once I had it downloaded, I sent it over to Simplify 3D for slicing. I used the same settings for both prints. I used a 0.2 millimeter layer height with four top layers, three bottom layers, and 15% infill, and I used three perimeters. I also printed out each part at 40 millimeters per second, and it took about two hours and 20 minutes for each part to print. And I did use a brim just to make sure they stuck down on the print bed really well, because I used the sanded acrylic board. And our prints turned out perfect. They are absolutely flawless. There are no problems whatsoever with either one of the models. Now, I'm not gonna put this together. I'm sure you guys have seen this before but I did assemble it this morning before we shot this video, and it took me a good full 10 minutes to open it. So the Labyrinth really works good. It's a really, really good maze. And my thought behind this was is that I would put a little bit of cash in here, and we'd print out a couple of these, put a little bit of cash in here, close up, close up the Labyrinth gift box, and put them under the Christmas tree for the girls. Now I think these would make some awesome gifts, and it would be worth the struggle to open them if they knew there was a little bit of money inside. Well, that about wraps it up for day 307 of the 3DP 365 project. I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative, and if you're looking for ways to support the channel, check out the affiliate links down in the description. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.